user consumer benefit, societal benefit across the whole supply chain if it was achieved, scientific challenge, large scale, multidisciplinary, where innovation is likely to have at least a chance of coming in. <coughs> Economic benefits, really thinking about the project as a continuum, not just stopping at the research, but going all the way through to demonstration, at least as a basis, as a hope for deployment. And the involvement of the private sector, because ultimately the private sector has got to be involved in taking science into reality, into application. So the first three flagships that we looked at were plant cell walls, this whole lignocellulose, this whole glue problem. How can we actually start thinking about cell walls and lignocellulose for biorefining? Plant oils, how are we using plant oils? Sure, they can be used for biodiesel, but they can also be used for a whole host of other industrial uses. And biopolymers, typically these days, biopolymers are made in fermenters through microbial fermentation. Is it possible, is it feasible, is it worth doing to consider making these biopolymers, these chemicals, in fields rather than in fermenters? And looking at the science of those areas and then placing them within this holistic analysis. So effectively, we were looking at projects and flagship themes. And we were talking to scientists and technology, technologists, and we were trying to bring in innovation. But then we were considering those suggestions within the wider holistic framework of impacts and economics. Regulations can just kill something dead almost as quickly as a supply chain. Looking at the social implications and then doing a SWOT analysis of strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats and saying, is it worth doing? No. Is it worth 